Hey there everyone, this is Caitlin here, aka Scribble Sketch, and we are here back again with a new kind of video for my channel. I've been wanting to experiment a little with some different formats for my videos, so let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of style of me presenting videos, and I'll try and do it more in the future. I think this is actually a kind of fun way to present it, especially when I'm just recording my voice for some videos and I can't be on camera for it. So I think this is a nice alternative, and I think it will be able to kind of flourish on this channel if you so like it. But the topic of today's video in particular is one that is quite close, near and dear to my own heart. We are talking about conventions, but not just any convention, we are talking about MCM Scotland, otherwise known as MCM Glasgow. Now, this is the biggest convention, I believe, in Scotland, to be fair. There are other conventions, you know, you have RICON, which is held in Glasgow as well. You also have Capital Sci-Fi Con, you've got Edinburgh Comic Con. But MCM Scotland is the big one. This one pulls in pretty big guests pretty much every single year. And it's actually the guests that we're going to be discussing. Now, initially when I wanted to record this video, I was simply going to cover which guests had been announced thus far. Um, since the last MCM has finished, now it's time for the new MCM in Scotland running to have their guests announced. Now, what is the issue I have? Now, the issue is something that I only kind of started noticing last year around the same time when guests started to get announced. I was very excited. Several other people were quite excited. And, you know, you'd have the odd person who would impatiently complain, why do they take so long to announce the guests? Blah, blah, blah. That's usually because they wait until their current event is finished before they full steam ahead with the next one and put their attention to that. Because obviously you can't split your attention between all these different cons. You've got your eggs all in one basket or rather in all these different baskets. So it makes sense for them to focus their advertising and their efforts on one con at a time so that there's no confusion and whatnot. However, some people are quite, I would like to say grumpy, a little bit... Um, What's the correct word here without me sounding so horrible? Uh, some people are quite rude, I'll just say it as politely as that, in terms of what guests have been announced thus far. Now, the very first guest that they announced for MCM Scotland was, and I apologise if I butcher any names here, I'm not used to saying these names out loud, so my apologies if I pronounce them wrong or I butcher them. Uh, the first guest was Charles Martinet, who is the voice of Mario and Luigi from the Super Mario games. So that's a really big guest, and that's very exciting. I'm very excited for that. I don't know whether or not I'll queue to meet him, um, but I know a lot of my friends are very excited about this news and are eager to meet him. So I'm happy to support them in that, and I think that was a very great, a good, strong announcement for the very first guest. You know, the voice of Mario and Luigi. That is an iconic person. There was a small minority of people who were not happy with the fact that the very first guest who got announced was technically a voice actor. And this seems to be a gripe that a minority, and, I'm, and I really do mean a minority, uh, in the Scottish community seem to have in regards to voice actors as guests. It happened last year where I, like, uh, it came, kept popping up. It would be people who didn't specifically like voice actors and specifically really wanted television and film actors. So they were disregarding voice actors as not being good enough to be guests in favour of those who are on-screen actors. Now, I find this a little bit hypocritical because you would find that a lot of quote-unquote on-screen actors also do a lot of voice work. David Tennant is an example of that. Uh, there are several other actors who have lent their voices to movies and films for animated things. So it's a bit unfair, I think, for them to outright just dismiss voice actors as guests and say oh, they're not proper guests. I think that's quite hypocritical in a sense because a lot of actors who have done television and such have probably done voiceover work, maybe not just for animated things, but maybe for uh, radio, for voiceovers for advertisements you hear all the time. Now, that was fine first off. Then they announced the next three guests. They kind of announced them all in one because they were kind of like a themed announcement um, because they were related to Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it would be, and again, I'm very sorry if I ruined some names here, Jason Lebrecht, Ian Sinclair, and Jason Douglas, or Douglas, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it there. Now, these guys were announced, obviously, they, their main selling point is that they'd voice characters from Dragon Ball Z. And again, that's another big kind of anime franchise thing that a lot of people would be pretty excited for. No doubt, a lot of people were very excited about that announcement. But just as that announcement happened, there was, again, that I noticed, a small minority of people, but they were a loud minority, 
who were up in arms complaining about how MCM only ever invites voice actors and they never get real actors or real guests. Hence why they were saying MCM is catering to quote-unquote cosplayers and weebs. This is legit one of the comments that I read in one of the page announcements for these guests. Someone actually is blaming cosplayers and weebs, quote-unquote, uh, for voice actors being announced for this event. And I was that annoyed about this comment that I ended up making my own meme. It is a very poorly done meme, pretty like lazy meme as well, but I couldn't help it. So here it is in all its glory for you guys to enjoy. Am I being a grunt for complaining when the first guests for MCM Scotland announced are all voice actors? No, it's the cosplayers that are to blame. So yeah, I found that quite annoying and also quite funny that they were literally complaining about this because this was the same complaint that we had last year. Uh, they were up in arms saying that, oh, only voice actors have been announced as guests. But then at the same time, they got a bunch of people from The Walking Dead that were announced for guests last year. And just to reiterate my point is that they are, seem to be so impatient about announcements. Literally, maybe a couple of days after this announcement, we got announcements for Power Rangers actors, which are obviously television slash movie actors. You had um, announcements for Nakia Baris, who's the Yellow Zeo Ranger. We also have Catherine Sutherland, who is from the Mighty Morphin Rangers. I believe she's the Pink Ranger. And we also have Steve Cardenas. Card Cardenas? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. So there you go, we have a bunch of TV slash film actors now from a very popular franchise. Surely the complaints would stop there, right? No, they would not stop there. There is now people complaining that one, they're not the Power Rangers that they want. And again, I'm going to just stress, this is a minority of people, but it's a loud minority. So when you have a loud minority, it is front and centre in uh, discussions and whatnot. They're saying that they're not the right Rangers that they want. There's people saying, I don't like Power Rangers. Why don't we get anyone from Star Trek or Star Wars or name some other big franchise that has film and TV actors? You name it, people want it and they're just not going to be happy. And I think I'll just need to shrug my shoulders at this and accept that people are just never going to be happy. If you announce more voice actors, then people are just going to say, oh, there's too many voice actors at this event. If you announce more TV and film people, you're going to get complaints saying they're not the people that you wanted or it's not a franchise that you support or enjoy. And that's the thing. One of my friends said this perfectly. MCM Scotland does its best to cater to all kinds of fandoms. It's an event which mixes in all kinds of geeky stuff. Like you have anime, you have video games, you have film and television, sci-fi, fantasy... It is a very big umbrella to cover. That's why they need to have a large umbrella of guests to suit different niches. And it's the same way where it's like, MCM Scotland is really the only convention in Scotland that invites anime guests. And I mean like voice actors. I won't, maybe not specifically just anime guests, but like voice actors in general, like video game voice actors. Like last year, we got some of the Overwatch cast. We have we had D.Va and Genji and Mercy. Um, we also had um, the voice actor for Finn from Adventure Time. So it's not just anime, but it seems like when people like to complain about voice actors, they like to just blame anime fans and cosplayers for this quote-unquote pandering. But Literally, this is the only convention in Scotland where we get to meet guests of this calibre. If we really like want to meet other voice actors and like that we enjoy, then we have to go all the way down to England or go abroad to America in order to see these guys. Because the only other conventions currently in Scotland that do invite guests are catered more towards sci-fi, television and film. So this is really our only chance to meet these people and yet these people who are fans of television actors and whatnot are up in arms because this specific convention is not catering to them. And I have to find that quite amusing. A little bit annoying, but right right now I find it more amusing than anything and I kind of have to, can't help but laugh whenever they get annoyed. It's just one of those things where it's like, well, I'm not getting annoyed. Like, I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball Z, but I'm not getting annoyed that Dragon Ball Z voice actors have been announced, am I? That's something for those people to enjoy, and I'm sure they will. And I'm sure I'll enjoy it somewhat, because one of them, the voice uh, actor Ian Sinclair, is also the voice actor for Burkut from Fire Emblem. So that's why I'll maybe, if I can get something Burkut related, I would love to get that signed by him, because I love Burkut uh, as a character, and I love Fire Emblem. So I would definitely still support that, just because they are mainly advertised as being something from a specific franchise, doesn't mean that you can't support them from something else. 
So that's really just a kind of topic of discussion I wanted to have with you guys, and that's really the reason why I made this short video. What do you guys think about this kind of culture about, I wouldn't say it's gatekeeping, it's definitely not gatekeeping in a sense, but complaining about different kinds of guests that are announced for conventions. Now, I feel like I only see these types of complaints specifically for Scottish conventions, but I think that's because I don't pay attention too much to the overall United Kingdom community because that's quite a large scope um, that I can't keep track of, mainly because I have never really attended English conventions outside of just going to SonyCon this year. So I'm mainly focused on the Scottish community because that's where I'm from, and that's probably where I'm going to have my focus on because, you know, that's where I live. But let me know, guys, if you've ever had issues with people complaining about the calibre of guests that are announced for conventions. Maybe you have conventions in your area and they don't even have guests. Like, for example, Rycon in Glasgow is a convention doesn't have guests, but it's still an enjoyable con. You don't need guests in order to enjoy yourself. So I really want to just open the discussion up for you guys and let me know if you like these kind of discussion style of videos. I really want to try and kind of expand what we're doing here on the channel a little bit. And I thought this would be a good way to expand upon it, you know, open up discussion to you guys, get the comments in and see where we can go. If you have some lovely comments, I might read them out in my next video or the next time I do a video in this style. So until next time, guys, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I no upload videos. And until next time, I will see all of you later. This video was made possible thanks to patrons such as Craig McCutcheon and Neko Senpai.